<laughs> so I'm just on the road alone where I am right now. It's called Asiye Demu. And me, I just want to show you how it looks. The Mali, the media that will show you guys. If I can walk here, then I can walk anywhere. I hope you can see. Yeah. that there are some children there but I don't know particularly what it represents that's about what is their name all right he doesn't know Faladia hey let's go oh yeah Faladia Wow, he doesn't even really know what he's telling me. All right, so this is how the place looks. I just see that the place is so beautiful. I don't know the name of the place, and I just want to show it to you. It's so beautiful. <laughs> you guys, look at the far end. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the money the media doesn't show you. I mean, I just love their roots and their landscaping and the edifice there gives it a super view <laughs> oh you guys can you see how Mali is very beautiful me yeah, I'm even surprised the only problem about Mali that I told you is that But apart from that, the place is extremely beautiful. One thing to commend them for is their roads. They are super good. Memorial of Modibo Kita. And that right there is Azala Hotel. Everybody wants to pick me up. Guys. Got 
this one. Can you see? I don't know if you saw the memorial. Azala Hotel, Omadi. Azala Hotel, Bamako. Bamako is. Some places are beautiful, no? You guys, very beautiful. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. Wow. So this is Azala Hotel. Can you see? At the background, Azala Hotel, so beautiful. If I showed you their ministries, you'll be marveled. Oh my goodness, Mali is beautiful, but you don't see it on TV. Look at the road network here. As I was telling you, the road, the road is something else. Oh man, and their landscaping is beautiful. Their roads are good. And their landscaping is top notch. They love trees. Although there's the place is dried, but they always try to grow trees here. Look, it beautifies the place. Yeah. Exactly what I want to say. Look at that. Azala Hotel. Yeah. Yeah, at the city center. When I, I wanted to show you the ministries. <laughs> But that soldier will not allow me. He, I got lost and I was asking him for direction and asked me to pass here. Mm, okay. All right. So I still want to show you something. Let me show it to you. And I'll come back and take the Sotrama. <laughs> You know what is so trauma? So trauma is the bus. It's very cheap. I mean, that is what I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. So the police is here. For me, I want to take a picture. Have you seen? Yeah, so as I got closer to the police and wanted to take a picture near their ministry's building because it was so beautiful, he was like, no, pictures or videos are not allowed there and it is a state's building. So, yeah, I just had a conversation with him and he showed me the way to where I'm going and that was it. Tell him, money. These are the buildings close up, as you can see. They look very beautiful. The architecture is top notch, and mind you, this is an architecture of African origin. And all I needed was a picture to always remember. But these people are so protective of their state properties and wouldn't allow anything such as pictures or videos. So yeah. I just had to budge but you guys look it looks very beautiful and a major landmark here in Bamako yeah I just bought my food. I didn't. I forgot to film it. So, yeah. So, guys, wow. I want to tell you something, right? When I was coming, um, a motorcycle it offered to pick me home. Like I was, I wanted to board it, and something happened, and I didn't board it again. Like he has re extremely reduced the price, but I refused to board it. And then when I was going, another person offered to pick me and I just agreed and that person picked me up. 
before I realized when we were coming, when we were coming, that motorbike which offered to pick me up caught an accident, like a very serious one, very serious accident, and it was covered in blood. Like it was such. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I just said, Lord, thank you. But I felt so sad for him. I couldn't even help him. It was really sad. But what could I have done? Nothing. And it was right on the bridge, right? Where the river Niger is. He could have even fallen into the river. But by God's grace, he didn't fall into the river. He was lying on the pavement for the bikes. No, for the pedestrians. But I just thank God that I wasn't part of that. Yeah. All in the quest to create content. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I end the video here. Can you like it? And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And also, leave your comments and let me know what you think about it. Alright. Bye. A bientôt.